The clock has already struck three, which means pencils down, um, which means the business is done. How does it feel to finally be past the deadline, make your moves, and now really looking forward to this final stretch? Well, it feels good because you're, you're comfortable with where your team's at, uh, you know, the chemistry that we've, we've built up throughout the season, and you're not really disrupting it uh, a whole lot. Yes, you're, you're adding a couple of players um, that should seamlessly be able to fit in with that group. So it feels really good. Yeah, and I just want to see how it all comes together. There's still 20 games. I'm a big believer where system, when systems come into play, on ice systems and strategy, it takes time. So the new guys will have that time to kind of acclimate themselves to the group, to the system, um, to the coaching staff, and, and get ready for the playoffs. Is that a tricky situation or piece of business as a general manager, as a management group, to maybe see how much you want to add, need to add, but not disrupt what's already there? Like, where's that fine balance? It's a great question. Uh, I've been on the record saying I do believe you build your team in the summer. Yeah. Um, right into training camp. Uh, training camp is, is, it's called training camp for a reason. You're training your, your body and your brain to be conditioned to certain ways you wanna play. And that takes, a, that takes some time. Um, there's also a reason why people say we, we wanna evaluate our team after the 20 game mark, 25 game, because it takes that long to see what your team is all about. So when you get to the end, uh, you know, adding multiple players could be detrimental to your team because of the chemistry, because understanding the way you want to play. You know, we talk about, you know, the, the words that we use or, you know, one word in particular was connected. So if one guy is not connected because he's not comfortable with the system, then you've got four other guys that are, are, are dislodged as well. Um, and that, that could be disastrous. So it takes time. So there's, there's going to be some educating here on, on how we want to play and uh, positionally, you know, what we do defensively uh, and through the neutral zone. Let's talk about the trade that you made today for bringing in someone like Curtis Lazar. He, you know, said he's been traded many times on trade deadline day. I think he's tied for the most ever. Um, what is it about that type of player and who he is that, makes him a desirable piece at this time of the year and basically the reason why you're bringing him in. Well, you know what, he, he's, a, he's a player that uh, I personally admire the way he plays. He plays the right way. Uh, our organization values what he brings to the table. Um, you know, he's an ex first round pick, so you know he's got some skill, and you know he's got some scoring ability, um, but that's not what he really made his uh, mark on because uh, it's hard to score. It's hard to produce at the NHL level, level, but he, he figured out a way to, you know, kind of reinvent himself into a really strong checking winger, someone who takes pride in face off, someone who can be really reliable on the penalty kill. Someone plays a heavy game, finishes checks and it's hard to play against. And as a smart player, he can play the system. Uh, versatile, he can play center, he can play wing. Um, and then, then you think about, well, you, you've got him tied up for two more years. That's, uh, that was the attract attraction to Curtis Lazar. Well, that, that was where I was going to lead next because you've talked so much about not wanting to acquire necessarily pieces that you can't control going forward. How important was that? I mean, you mentioned a little bit there, knowing that that part of his contract was still there two years beyond now. Yeah, when you're giving up, you know, pretty, really good assets, um, like the pick we gave up, yeah, you want to... You want some comfort in knowing that you can control the player. And it gives you flexibility yeah. moving forward with, with other pieces. And so, you know, that was that was big, but not the biggest part. The biggest part was the person. He's, he's a great kid, lots of character, plays the game the right way, won't cheat the game. And, and that's what you ask from your players. We talk so much about depth, wanting depth. This is an ability for you to really shore up a little bit more of that bottom six depth, right? You bring in Timo uh, last week doing the heavy lifting of the work. That's your top six, but now you've got another piece there at, at the bottom six. How are you feeling about your roster right now that, you know, pencils are down, like I said before, here's the last some odd games? Well, I, I don't worry about production, that's for sure. And you're right, adding Timo Meyer um, will really help us slot other guys into their proper positions and in, in, in lines, I guess. Adding Lazar, like we just talked about, it gives you a guy who's got playoff, you know, experience. Um, knows how to grind it out because that's what playoffs are all about. Uh, but you know, when you when you look at you know building your team, you, you're looking for the right pieces. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, we've got to play the right way. We've got to not cheat the system. We've got to be connected. You know, we've we've got to be committed 
to playing the right way and not giving up odd man rushes. And I call that the learn the win phase. And you've saw over the past two years where I, where our group has got, grown to. Um, and they're, 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 they're there, they're getting there. There's still some fine tuning. There's still a little more commitment. Um, but if we play the right way away from the puck, we're gonna have the puck a lot. And we have the puck a lot, fun to watch. When you first took over as general manager, where did you think you'd be at this point, this many years later, this much into Nico's career, into Jack's career, and how much has it been about sticking with being patient with that process? Patience is, uh, is, is the key, in my opinion. Is that hard? No, it's not. When you have, when you have the backing of your, your ownership group who believed in the, the strategic plan I presented them, to them to hold on to this job and where my vision was, um, you saw this was the year. You know, I always felt that those guys would pop uh, at, at this point. I didn't think they, we, we would be in this spot. I'd be lying. Mm -hmm. I thought this was our, you know, Next phase. Let's let's scratch and claw for that wild card, and and then we're really ready to run. Um, but I always felt like New Jersey Devils. Once we're starting to ascend, there will be teams in our division descending because of Father Time. You know, because we're we're a young group. Yep. Um, but adding the right pieces around that young group, those pillars. You know, you talk about Jack and Nico and and Bradder. Um, and adding the Palats and the, the Dougie Hamiltons and the Smiths and the Hollas and. I know I'm Marino, you know, um, I'm forgetting people, but you, you sure that sure up the goal with V, um, you just, you wanted to surround them with the right pieces. Right. Um, not just keep bringing it, we're talented, but I want, I want the right talent, I want hard talent. Um, and we've got a pretty good mix here. So if the next phase that you thought would be that scratching and clawing, but it almost feels like they've jumped over that step for now anyways, what's the value of what they're going to go through um, these last couple of games and then, you know, into the playoffs. Where, what's that big leap there for them? Well, just to go back on, on the scratching, clawing, and learn the win phase, I, I thought the last year was that year too. Okay. Because if you, if you take away some of the numbers, um, goals against and things like that, we, the data told us that we're going in the right direction and we're ready to, ready to pop. That was this year. Um, so it's, it's, it really is fun to watch. We know training camp, start of the season is a different different phase of the season, and then you get to the middle part. Um, but now with teams scratching and clawing themselves to, to get into the playoff race, stay in the playoff race, every game is so important. So every every game is just ramped up. And and what better way to really you know help you get ready for, for the playoffs, the real thing. So this rehearsal dance that we're going to go through here in the next month should help us moving forward in the playoffs. How scary as a whole is what's happening in the Eastern Conference right now? You know, the right, just they're all the top teams in the league. Everyone on the East has really been shoring up their rosters. That's going to be a lesson in and of itself, right? It's that immediate grind as you know the playoffs begin. Yeah, you're right. It's hard <laughs> not to see what other teams are doing, um, <laughs> but it really doesn't affect me. You yep. know, we talked about being patient, and all I can control is what I personally can control um, with, you know, acquisitions in the summer and signings and uh, it's just how we want to play and the type of people we bring in. Um, it's hard enough to be the manager of one team, but worrying about <laughs> what other teams are doing is, is incredibly, <laughs> incredibly hard. So I, I'm not a reactionary person. You mm -hmm. know, I think everything we've done here as a team, uh, and I'm talking about my hockey ops team, has been very thought out um, to a point where it's it's been analyzed and dissected uh, for us to make proper decisions. And I think we've done that, you know, so far. Of course, you're gonna, you're gonna take chances on people um, that may, may or may work, out. but I think for the most part, you know, when we laid down that strategy years ago, um, we're, starting to, we're starting to see it come together. So you talk about patience. What's the next phase of patience for a general manager when you hit this point? <laughs> you know, I, you know, some would say, you know, you, you, your, your win, whatever your window is to win and, you know, what do those future assets look like and your, your, your first round picks, your top prospects, if they're not helping you in that, in your window. Um, I, I don't even, I can't imagine when that window is going to start closing for the New Jersey Devils because it's literally just opening and, and we feel like it's a, a good 10 years. Um, so we'll worry about that small window down the road. <laughs>
<laughs> so I didn't mean <laughs> I didn't mean to bring up you know years from now, but you know I, I think yeah. your job is really a lesson in being patient yeah. and sticking with the plan. Yeah, no, I, it's it's like anything else. If you if you cheat to get to the finish line, you're usually not going to finish the the race and. Uh, or, or anything in life. If you if you don't, as an ex-player, if you're not working out and giving it everything you have and sticking to your, your diet and your off ice, you're only kidding yourself. It's just you can't master that. So it's the same thing. As I take the same principles and apply it here. It's like, you know, stick to something. Then you get to a point where you may be able to deviate. Yeah, maybe on Sundays I could have that cheat cheat day, you know. <laughs> um, back in the day. Um, That's but, cause I don't think that flies anymore. But, but, but you know what? Like, we're we're... We're committed to it, and we've shown that. Um, and like I said, we've got great ownership. You know, David Blitzer and Josh Harris have really helped, you know, say, hey, encourage you to go do things because of this phase we wanted to get to, and then here we are. Well, here we are, indeed. Deadline over. Now it's, you know, the work of the guys on the ice, your coaching staff, couple games left to round out this season. So congratulations on a good deadline. Congratulations on a good season so far. And may, you know, the success continue for us all. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>